Mark tells the gospel with a quick pace. Time is on his mind in his encounter with the Exodus narrative of Jesus. In fact, that's how Jesus presents the good news when he begins his own preaching campaign. You'll see the Greek kairos appear here. Time is on Jesus' mind too. Let's go forth. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Mark advances the narrative with the repetition of a key word, euthus, which simply means immediately. The word appears 58 times in the New Testament, and 42 of them are right here in Mark. There may be some wordplay intended because there is one unique use of euthus at the beginning of Mark that is actually a second meaning of the same word, quoting Isaiah's New Exodus invitation. It refers to making a straight path, and in this context is talking about the path to the New Exodus. A way to capture the semantic overlap here is perhaps the phrase straight away. It's a readiness that comes with the invitation to the New Exodus. Readiness. Remember, Jesus announces the time has come. Are you ready? So we see this at once, straight away aspect of Jesus' ministry all over the Gospel of Mark. Euthus not only traces the story, but the way people respond to Jesus. In 2.12, a lame man gets up immediately at Jesus' command. On the other hand, in 3.6, the Pharisees immediately plot against Jesus in response to his teaching. Whether or not we realize it, we are making an immediate response to the Gospel. Are you following Jesus into the new exodus? For the disciples in our passage, we see two scenes where people decide immediately to follow Jesus' call. They dropped everything to follow him immediately. But how do we do that? Dietrich Bonhoeffer said of this passage, There is no road to faith or discipleship. No other road. Only obedience to the call of Jesus. So right now, how are you responding to Jesus's immediate invitation? Thank you.